So the lure I'm gonna start throwing today is the Bugs Fishing Curl Tail Jig. I did make a little bit of a modification to this. I took the Curl Tail Jig off and put a four inch gulp grub and uh, I cut it off a little bit to make it shorter where it just felt like it, it fit the profile of the lure. Um, but yeah, that's the deal. I'll talk a little bit more about this lure later on in the video, but here's the deal. We got bait just getting, that's a redfish or something moving down through here. That's crazy. So starting in this big creek system right here, got a super high tide right now and a lot of current is just sweeping through here. And uh, that's kind of the deal. That's what we're gonna do, working some grass lines, throwing this jig around, see if we can't pick up some flounder. Got a lot of current is dumping out of this drain right here. So it should, I would expect there to be a fish sitting in there. You know, I can kind of breeze through a lot of areas, but whenever I, I come up to a good defined drain like that right there I will I'll throw some extra cast around in there my, my confidence is just so high a spot like that makes me really want to make sure I'm covering it pretty thoroughly There he is. There he is. A hey, bet. I knew there was gonna be one sitting in that drain. Yep, that's a flounder. That is him. <laughs> All right. Boom. And I hit that drain more than I normally would. I mean, I threw several extra casts right there and, uh, and landed this guy. Not a big flounder by any means. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be a keeper. We are keeping today, but I think I'm gonna let this guy swim. Come on, chill out, chill out. Well, dude, I do appreciate the fight. Get off, we'll see you next time. Boom, boom. That's deep up in that little drum. Oh, he's on. He's on. I knew it. He's swimming at me. He's swimming at me. Is he going to be good? He's feeling like he'd be a keeper. Come on. Come on. Yeah, oh yeah. I don't know if that's keeper or not. That's flounder number two. Yeah, another small one. I think he'd be a keeper. But we'll let this one go too. We are allowed to keep five flounder in Alabama. So if I'm gonna keep some, I'm gonna keep some. That would be good for stuffing. Bye-bye. Man, I knew coming up on this spot right here that there were gonna be some fishing. I mean, I think I got another one on. I don't know. No, that might've been a bait fish. Oh, he's on. Oh, that's bait fish, bait fish, Nate. Whoo, starting to get kinda on edge right now they're in here for sure but yeah no the way this current's just funneling through i mean you see this, this piece of grass kind of funnels out so you know your land slopes down it's cut on this edge just looking at it and so you probably got a little bit of a deeper trough that's right there which is why that current is funneling out the way that it is and that's also the reason those flounder are sitting in there He's on. He's on. That's a better fish. Flounder number three. Oh, I said that's a better fish. That is a smaller fish, man. Oh. Y'all know how it is. Y'all know how it is. Bye bye. Y'all, this area is just loaded with them right now. three flounder on I believe three cast there might have been a few casts between those all right we'll leave that drain alone right there I feel like we have 
picked it apart pretty good, found three flounder laying in it, so cannot complain about that at all. Uh, but here's the deal. I'm throwing that jig out there, right? And this is 99% of the time, if I'm throwing a lure for flounder, I'm gonna throw it out there, and as I'm retrieving it back, I'm gonna give it, I don't know, five or six bounces up, rapid bounces up, reeling in my slack, and just bouncing it on the bottom right there. That's what's gonna trigger those strikes, because you're getting that lure to flutter up, settle down, flutter up, settle down. So I don't know if I got a flounder on right now. I felt something with a lot of little thumps. I don't want to snatch on if it's not, but weight sitting here holding. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the hook. It's a flounder. Yep. He hit it like a bait fish. I wasn't sure. So I checked for tension. Another little one. Boy, there are some small fish in here today. Easy release on them though. I say release it. Got the hook out easy. But uh, a lot of times those flounder do not vibrate that hook when they hit like that. It's just a solid thump. He didn't hit it normally. But whenever I checked it, there was tension on there. Uh, if it was a bait fish, my lure would have just kept on moving. He, that bait fish would have had it and ran off with it. It wouldn't have settled back down like that flounder did right there. So always good whenever, if you're not sure whether it be a rock a log, uh, oyster, or bait fish, whatever. You, you're sitting there moving that lure up and if there's tension on you and you're picking up and you're like, that line's going tight, set the hook. Always just set the hook. Got another drain that we're pulling up to right here. There's a little bit of current dumping out of that one. Not a whole lot. Still think there might be a flounder sitting up in there. But I definitely like to see a lot more current. And all that means is that the choke point exiting has not as deep. Typically, that's what that means. Oh, <clears throat> he nailed it. Yeah, I'm talking about nailed it. Another flounder. Flounder number six. Small flounder number six. God, hey, did you get me? I think you got me. He thumped it like a good fish, I tell you that. Bye bye. Alright, y'all. So the lure that I've been throwing is the Bugs Fishing Curl Tail Jig. This is what the jig looks like if you were to buy it. I will link this down below in the description. But this is a killer flounder uh, lure, especially in the marsh and really the reason I like it is, is two things. Uh, one is that flat head right there, very similar to a flats jig. When it's sitting in that mud, I can sit there and bounce it and that head's not going into the mud and creating a mud plume. It's sitting here kind of barely hitting it and it's staying up on top of the mud, right? Because it's flat. So instead of going down into the mud, it's staying up on top. And it also has a little cant to it. So it allows the uh, appendages or your trailer to kind of be sticking up a little bit and still maintain a pretty natural uh, presentation. The other thing I like is that it has rabbit fur on it. So that rabbit fur, whenever it's in the water, it flares up and with all the current and everything, it really just comes to life. And um, just to me, just gives a perfect profile. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up there. The bite kind of died off. It's about noon right now. Didn't get started till about eight, but come out here, hit a couple of good creek mouths, drains, and uh, it caught five or six flounder. No big ones, but did find several, uh, several flounder laying up in these spots. So had a good morning out here. I hope this video was informative, helpful to y'all. Uh, if y'all would, share the video, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time.